And welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Egoist. Egoist is ranked number one in his goal division with 200, uh, 200, wow, no, 2,699 points, 287 wins, and 285 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the south. Up against Egoist, he is the Blue Terran player in the north the map is metalopolis not one of my favorite maps but against the terran i shouldn't have a problem with it you know it yes it's a it's a map that does well towards builds in the early game that try to help what goes on later on you know what i mean uh for macro builds tech builds not so much the army builds up front where you want to attack immediately this is a map that is a little bit too large for that Especially with our spine locations, we have spawned the furthest apart possible on this map, I think. Maybe this one, I'd say it's about the same size. So, yeah, it's it, they're very far apart. That's the point that I was going for. And of course, these, these expansions are very hard to defend. Really, I mean, that is one entrance right here. And then this huge ramp here. So, I mean, pretty much that is what you have to defend. It's tough. It's a tough expansion here. I do... Oh, no, I'm far... I'm a little bit behind here, about... What is that? Uh, two, three seconds behind on the barracks. He is ahead of me already, but he is not going for... No, f no factory right now. Instead, he is going for... What, what are you doing? You're going for a second barracks? So two barracks, incredibly far apart, if I must say. No, still no. There we go. Refinery is on the way as well. I am not going for that build because I've never seen that build in my life. Straight two racks that far apart. I don't know what he's going for, but I haven't seen it yet. So um, I'm going around his base. Just going, okay, he's got the one racks. Just... Yeah, okay, one racks. Whatever. And then the Marine pops out. He's trying to chase my SCVs with his. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll just go. So no, I never spot it. No, I never spot the second racks. If I had, I would have known exactly what was going on based on what kind of production he could get out of that. You know, he's going for mass Marines. That is my guess. And it looks like that is all he is going for. No reactor yet. It looks like that refinery is just up. So he does not have enough gas for it. No orbital command either. He is just going for pure SCVs and Marines right now. That That's it. I have a mule out. That's probably why I have the lead in the mineral income. I, we have the same amount of harvesters, so it looks like he wasn't producing as well as he should for some time there. He even ha took the lead for a second there. So he hasn't been keeping up with the harvesters. But I have my three racks on the way. Once again, putting them at the terrain there so they can get sight on any army that should happen to be stupid enough to walk right there trying to get into my base. But given our spine locations, typically, typically, his army will move along this route here into my base. It looks like he's sending one marine out. I don't know what that marine is doing. Maybe he's going for the Zelnaga tower. Maybe he thinks he can win it all by himself. He's just like, Leroy! Now nah, I'm not going to finish it. But still, just two, no, three racks, and a tech lab on the third racks. So this is the strangest three racks I've ever seen. Oh, he's trying to figure out where I am. He still doesn't know, does he? And he's too focused on what he's doing here, and what? Okay, no, he's just, he's queued up here, and then over here, he has no idea. So he was going to go for this build no matter what. Meanwhile, I'm going for three racks because, pretty much because I assume that I have to get some early aggression done here. Boom, that Marine dies, never knowing exactly what I have going my way. But he does know, now know where I am spawned, so he's sending all his Marines in. How is his army doing? Not very good. I have the larger army in 
every respect I have a more here, more you know, more supply, more gas, more minerals, because I have a reactor, and he's sending reinforcements all the way into my base. He's saying, "Um, follow this guy right there. That is a commander recruit, apparently general recruit, because he is in charge of all incoming reinforcements." I, we both have stim pack on the way. Mine is all oh, behind once again. But I do have concussive shells and a few marine er, marauders inside my base, and that should be enough to handle these cross of marines. That was just an interesting stopping location like that. I am going for my second refinery now, along with my engineering bay. I usually get those at the same time now in this build, because uh, one pretty much fuels the other one. Continuing to pump marines... And I scan inside his base, checking to see if he has an expansion. He does not have it, and I'm checking for the army as well. So that was a bad play scan, but it does tell me a lot. What it tells me is that he is sending his army to my base, and that he does not have an expansion. So if I'm able to hold off this initial push, and I can get an expansion up, I should be in good shape. So and he is now on five racks with only one add-on he's still getting the gas so there's absolutely no reason for him not to be pumping marines out of the reactor here he's going in for a push here and i stim just the ones that are shooting so i shouldn't be too far behind here and when i see those two marines coming in one at a time i know that he has a rally point set here and does not have any further army so i'm trying to push these guys inside his base but i saw that they went this way so i'm trying to stop him here stop 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 you need to go this way yes you do he's still sending the marines to this rally point it looks like one marine did slip by i can spot him from the high ground here and now he is just starting to catch that his army needs to be back in his base still off of five racks he does have quite a bit of minerals and gas still still don't know why he's going for the gas all he used it for was stim pack oh no now he does have combat shield these guys instantly get their package from the home base wherever you get combat shield from they got it came in the mail they got that package that i sent them here i'm doing a bad job if he had yeah see he's got one marine in position here um so he is going to be able to get some free pot shots off on my army because i put them right in his path that barracks is up just in time trying to move my army up so I, everybody else can get a shot in but there's just Way too many marines here for me to be able to do anything. How many marines is that? That is 24 marines. I'm not able to catch all my reinforcements here. So I'm just kind of going to let them get as much damage as I can. I do take out one SCV. And he has pulled every single SCV off the line. He did finally get the orbital command, by the way. And... Oh, he's going for a Foxer at the 11 and a half minute mark. He's getting all his Marines, all his SCVs, pulling them off the line and moving into my base. He still has... Nope, he's out of production now. He can't even make... Uh, now he can make one SCV, which is what he should make. So he's moving in. I see those SCVs and I'm like, what the hell? What I need to do is pull my SCVs off the line now. Right now. Right now. I am trying to get a planetary fortress up here. Uh, I was going for that before I knew he was moving in, but now it is way too late. And this thing will never see the light of day. I tried to repair it, but everything went down. And so does the planetary fortress. Oh, look, that thing explode. So he's moving in. What's he got left? He's got 18, mer 18 SCVs and 28 Marines. There is nothing I can do about this. Uh, did he need the mer did he need the SCVs? Absolutely. Without the SCVs, this would not have worked for him, and I have no choice but to leave the game. But I'm just stunned here. I'm like, did he foxer me? Did he foxer me this late? Oh, and he gives me the GG, which is oh, what a dick. Ah, oh, don't do that. Total BM. Yeah, don't don't GG me after you pull a Foxer. <laughs> He's still got so many Marines. 
Um, he did finally get a couple SUVs back inside his base. He's still working off of six racks, it looks like. Yeah, just six. Um, still has a ton of gas. Never really used that except for he used 200 of it. But then after he got 200, he should have put these guys back on the minerals. Um, he did pull two of them off to attack, I guess, but still. So I've never seen this before. I've never seen a Foxer this late in the game. So at about the 11 and a half minute mark, apparently it's a good idea to pull all of your SUVs off the line and come in with a ton of Marines. And that was the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I hope you laughed. I hope you learned. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.